Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Kevin from Android Spin, and today I have a video on something that we have been waiting for for a very long time now, and that's Clockwork Mod Recovery Touch. Uh, Kush has finally made it available for a limited amount of devices right now, but he's currently expanding that number. And basically, it is it is what it is. It's just what we've known clockwork mod recovery into the touch format without using the buttons however the buttons still work so if you feel like you don't want to touch the screen for some abnormal reason uh, you can just use the vol volume buttons and the power buttons as usual um, something now I'm gonna say point out my pros and cons because I'm not trying to judge Koosh this is a fantastic job but I'm just gonna say what I like and I don't like and that will be my review of the recovery so first of all this is still in beta or alpha or gamma or okay so that was a terrible joke um, but uh, so yeah where was I okay so this is clockwork mod recovery 5.8.0.2 I think this is the latest I think it might be 0.4 that's the latest but uh, not, not really much of a difference but uh, what I like full touch control you can touch install zip and you can scroll down uh, you can choose from SD card and scroll down like this and then basically you can choose the ROM and you can easily choose yes or no go back and you can make backups and all that stuff everything's functional uh, maybe some stuff isn't functional but from what I've seen and what I do such as restoring and backing up and wiping data everything seems, fu seems functional to me now that's what I like uh, that it has full touch support now what I don't like is I still feel like uh, the touch isn't still isn't the best uh, he did say, Kush did say that there would be better visuals coming. Uh, I'm not sure if that's in this beta that I'm running right now or not. But I don't like that it's highlighted. So I, I prefer just like, uh, just like it blank, like all the rest of these. And then maybe it could, he could make it larger, the main screen larger, so we could see better. Um, not that I can't see perfectly like this, but this is a 4.65 inch screen. Uh, he could make it larger, but that would mean like all the other devices he supports have to uh, be altered as well, I guess. And not pretty much this is the only device that has a 4.65 inch screen, uh, other than probably the Epic 4G Touch and maybe the Galaxy Note. Um, the second thing I don't like is the back uh, functionality. Uh, it's easy when there's a little bit of options, uh, such as this menu right here. But when you're doing something when there's a lot of options, such as choosing a zip to apply, uh, this is where it gets tricky and you have to scroll all the way down in order to get to the go back. And it's not really bad, I guess, but it's just a pet peeve of mine. Um, sometimes I accidentally press uh, the a button and I have to scroll all the way down just to press go back. Okay, so, other than that, um, I think it's really great. It's finally, it's what we've been waiting for all this time. Um, you can either purchase this from Raw Manager Pro, I think, or it's just a purchase and not purchase, or you can flash it manually if you know how to use fastboot commands on his website at clockworkmod.com. Um, but it's better just to pay for it, well, because you want to support him. But um, other than that, it's a great recovery. I love it. Uh, but I still have, there's still some pet peeves that, I, that are in this recovery that I don't like. But obviously, I shouldn't be complaining about that. But that has been a review or a first look at Clockwork Mod Recovery Touch. If there are any major updates to this recovery, I will be sure to do a review on that in the future. Um, but other than that, have a great day, guys. Uh, Super Bowl tomorrow. Um, if you're who, which team you're rooting for, leave a comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.